Hello Taurus and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for October 2022 and this is going to be a very powerful month because a lot like September things are being brought up to the surface so it's going to be a month of illumination and Archangel Uriel is in charge of that illumination so that's when both you and your twin receive moments of epiphany, aha moments, signs, synchronicities that really tap you in with the truth and the tuning of each other so you feel each other so I feel that you are feeling each other very powerfully during this month even if you're not together yet you're going to be feeling what they feel they're going to be feeling you and the voices are going to be increasing so I also feel a lot of telepathic communication hearing each other you know, being in tune with what's going on psychically with others. So your sensitive empath abilities are getting stronger and you're tuning more into what they mean. So your psychic gifts are also improving. And Archangel Nathaniel, Archangel Michael protecting everything, but Archangel Nathaniel and Lord Ganesh still working behind the scenes to make this all happen to bring things up to the surface and out into the open. So we're going to use five powerful decks of cards. We're going to do a DMDF channeled message with the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine 101. We're going to bring in the Universal Celtic Tarot, the Angel Number Oracle 101 and the Gorgeous Saints and Angels cards. So whether you are cross-watching or you are the Taurus energy, this reading will resonate with you. So what's the energy around Taurus Twin Flames, please, Angels? due in October, what's the energy please, due in October, what do you need to know, and these can also be number sequences you may see, see or anything that the angels want you to be aware of, so what's the energy around you, so again whether you are cross watching or this is your sign, this is the energy affecting you in October, the energy affecting your twin in October and the communication or the connection, so it feels like there's communication coming into the connection, but that's also very, yeah, motorbike going past again, and a lot of cleansing energy, they give me rain and cleansing energy, but also, this could also be telepathic too. So let's start with the feminine card. So what do you want to say? What does the feminine want to say to the masculine? And what does the masculine want to say back to the feminine? Okay, here we go. So... Let's start then with the energy. So the energy this month for you guys is look at this, look deeper. And this is really powerful because not long ago on Snapchat, I did a little card pull and this card came out. So the message coming out from your guardian angel is look deeper. That means things are not always what they seem. Sometimes something can trigger you, but you have to look deeper in it to understand it. Because what triggers us heals us. And I feel this is about looking through the illusion, looking through the 3D world, trying to see things from a higher point of view, trying to understand why they do the things they do, or they don't do things they've said they're going to do. Have faith. So when we look deeper, we find faith. And faith is the answer. When we have a small amount of faith, we can move huge, big mountains in our life. So you may see the number 333 or 333 as a symbol of faith. And when we see the number three, it's always connected with Jesus and the ascended masters. So I feel Jesus coming through to you to say, have faith in this journey. What will be, will be. You are not alone. All you have to do is look a bit deeper. And remember that what we are seeing around us is also a reflection of ourself. So if you're not liking what's happening in your day, make that vow to change something within you. That means choose to see things in a new way. Remember, our day is neutral and our life is neutral. It's the way we perceive it that makes it good or bad. Releasing the ego fears to follow your true path. So there's a spiritual change coming into the physical world. So right now you're releasing the ego and you're releasing fears to follow what you know you're meant to do. And this goes the same for your twin. You know, both of you have a mission and you have a mission together as well as separately but you have a mission to be together. So you have to release all the fear and ego around the past and cleanse the past and heal the past to be able to move forward together. So stay positive. Look deeper, have faith and stay positive. 
and especially have faith and stay positive between the third of this month and the 23rd of this month because I feel big changes occurring around this time and your dreams are coming true. So this is going to be a month where dreams begin to fall into place and when we look deeper we know that everything has a plan. There's a reason. So if something seems delayed, the delay is creating the way. So let love guide you, not fear. Again, this kind of really resonates with Aries energy. So there's similar energy and again this illumination and power to move out of fear and focus on the end result and have no fear. So the angels are very clearly saying to you, if there's a lot of fear around or worry or struggle, you have to look deeper and focus on the end result and then things fall into place. So for you this month, we've got the five of swords. So your masculine is fighting for this love, whether you can see it happening or not, your masculine is already on the way. And I feel that Archangel Michael is with you right now with you every step of the way that's why he's wearing blue and i love that i've been guided to wear blue for this reading too so you may feel you want to wear blue or you may be guided to the color blue especially royal blue or even a purple because that's a big sign of michael guiding you and he's saying to you wherever you go whatever you do whatever struggles you face you will have victory in your life you'll achieve your dreams because your dreams are coming true when you let love guide you, not fear, you find your way. And right now, your masculine is finding their way through that fear to you. For them, we've got the eight to one. So they are moving forward and we've got the wolf energy and we've got the fox. So a wolf and a fox are symbolic for your journey right now. So if you start seeing wolves, it's a reminder of your telepathic link and your psychic bond and your awareness. If you're seeing foxies that's a symbol of solutions and planning and working things out and this is moving forward it's moving forward in the right direction and i love how you for you you've got the male energy and for your twin it's got the female energy so you're both feeling each other and i feel that you are operating in a little bit of masculine energy this month too because you're dealing with fears and your masculine or your person may be dealing with the feminine energy because they are feeling more sensitive. So the energy around the connection, we've got the eight of cups moving forward and releasing things that need to go and releasing fears. You know, maybe some sleepless nights or crazy dreams coming in, especially during the healing energy of separation. So a lot of healing and restoration to come together, making sure you're healing the past looking back with love, realising why you've come. And I love that we've also got this here too. You know, this is actually the front of the deck. So it's showing you that you're moving into your power as a divine family and you're taking control. So you're being reminded to not give up, to keep going forward, to bring in balance. You're being reminded that you are stronger and wiser now through the decisions you've made and the choices you've chosen. So you're moving forward, feeling stronger, knowing that the masculine is moving forward with balance. So I feel this is a real energy about movement change, coming together. You may see feathers this month too. And you know, this has just dropped down here. And I don't know if you can see that, it's the tiniest little bit of blue. Can you see it there if I move it around into where my hair is? Blue, blue feathers. Look, it's coming down here. See? So... And it's definitely come off my earring. And I've only just realized I'm wearing these earrings too. So you may see blue or lilac or lavender colors or purples or feathers. You know, they show me things like that coming into your awareness because it's a sign to keep the faith. So the channel message then, you're saying I ache for you. So you may be really aching for your twin, especially if they are giving other people attention because you're saying I hate it when you give other people attention. You know, so if they are liking other people's posts on social media or spending time with other people, you're saying, I'm aching for you. I hate that because I want it with you. I want everything with you. Let me give you it all. So the reason why you may be struggling is because you want to give them everything. You want to be the one spending time with them. And their moods are giving you a headache. So maybe there's back and forth energy going on. And you're saying, I want to be with you. Is that really so wrong? So you're trying to figure out why 
you know, everything you're doing seems to be in a way going wrong, but it isn't, it's going right. Because you're saying all I really want to do is spend time with you. So if you want me, let me know. I can't read you. So you may be struggling to read their emotions or feelings. They may be a bit silent, distant, disruptive energy. But that's because there's change happening. And you're saying, look, I just hope you change. So you're saying, of course, I ache for you or want you. It bugs me when you're giving other people attention because I want you and I want to spend time with you and be with you. I just hope you change. So it's kind of this understanding energy. I feel like you're working through all your fears and you're saying, I just hope you change. That's what I want. And he's saying to you, I've seen you everywhere. I see you on the big screen. So he's reminding you that he sees you. Doesn't matter who he's around, what he's doing, where his attention seems to be, he sees you on the big screen. And that means in a film or in a show on the television. You know, we think about big screen, we think about cinema and or theatre, something like that. But really, you know, the big screen is the television. You know, we have big televisions now or we have tablets we watch things on or computer screens. So he's saying, I see you on the screen. I see you everywhere I go. I see you. And I feel some of the masculines have actually got you on, on their phones as screensavers or somehow they can look at you in a very cunning way, especially if they've got a karmic partner. You know, they do see you in many other ways. They see you on a screen. So he's looking at you, he's watching you online. And they give me fear because he's saying, I'm so afraid that you'll leave me. So that's what he's dealing with. That's his struggle. That's his fear. That, you know, he'll be vulnerable with you and open up with you and give himself to you. And then you'll move on or you'll leave him to be with someone else. I feel someone's masculine has dealt with that before. You know, maybe they've been cheated on or they've been left behind. And he said, I don't want you to leave me behind. You're a high flyer. You're doing things with your life, going places. I don't want you to leave me behind. And you're saying, I won't leave you behind. I just want you to change. I just want you to give me the attention that I know I deserve. And he's saying, I will in time. I want to be that person. Right now, I'm seeing you everywhere because it's showing me my truth. And it's helping me to overcome my fears so I can release those fears and be with you. Please have faith in our love and trust the connection. Because when we look deeper, everything makes sense. I hope this helps. Have a great month and I'll see you soon.